Welcome to Sound Art Spaceville. Hi, Jazz. How are you? I'm um, good, thank you, Marco. How are you? Really good, really good, really good. Man, it's bright out here, isn't it, Jazz? It's a wonderful day, but it is different. We're outside. Oh, we're outside. We're off we're, the chain. Yeah, we've broken out of the capsule or something like that. We're out in the Milky Way somewhere or something. We're just like gone, gone out of the capsule, just busted out and got out of the whole place or something. We're looking at the skyline as we sort of speak. Hey, what do you reckon? It's great, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's a great view out here. A bit better than staring at the walls. You know? I reckon. You, can you hear the birds? Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> we got birds going on everywhere. Hey, is that... Oh, Oh, you got some artwork there, Jazz. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. From oh. the Strand, yeah. Oh, okay. Been, been got, got a bit snap happy. Snappy. Yeah, snap happy. Yeah, snap <laughs> happy snaps or something like that. We've got a few more of those sort of coming on too later on. Yeah, hey? we've yeah. got plenty. Um, Brian Beattie from Terrapin, you know, uh-huh. plays drums with Tasha. Yeah. yeah, he sort of said he was going to come in. He's racing in from somewhere. I don't know. He's got a whole lot of artworks to talk about and show us. Christine's coming in to sort of have a chat with us too. We don't know. It's a mystery could be about tarot, could be about book writing, could be, I don't know, whatever. We'll find out later on. And um, Andy, Andy's going to come in and sort of play a bit of guitar, play oh, some great. tunes for us. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Okay, what else have you got in the resume? What did you pick out? you got some, what's on the movies with jazz? What have we got? I don't know. I've, I've, I've supplied more pictures than movies, I think, this time. you got more, more a, pictures? Been a bit quiet on, oh. the, on the video. Oh, well. We'll, 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 dig up, we'll dig up some sort of more things or something like that. How's Dick Dale going? He's great. He's yeah. um, actually working on a heap more Trashorama films. Oh. He's, just oh. been, he's been a very busy man editing up all, all the, new, the new series. So um, it's all happening. Cool, cool. All Dick, happening. g'day. Keeps if you're more. watching down there, hey, Dick. Dick. Yeah, yeah. There's we're still alive and living from. up here in Spaceville. Or something like that. It's great. Oh, look, I even got my shirt on again. Look. Oh, where's mine? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm working on it. I've been doing all this other painting today. I had to do some sort of stuff. That people will see it later on okay. or something like Work that. Harder. So it's in the, yeah, it's in the <laughs> pipeline. It's all right. I've got to get all the copyright first, right? You know. Oh, all on the show. George Davies and Lucky Phil and Cairns. Uh, whatever. We've got some Matt Whitten um, sort of things from Maggie Island. Uh huh. Phosphorus. That was great. That started it off. Coranda. Roots 2014. Wasn't that a great way to start? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're just having a chat. They're coming, they're going to play a gig soon. Was this which one? Is it Phosphorus, the one that we were just showing before? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they're doing a gig in the next few weeks. I'm not exactly right. sure when, but it's... We're going to follow it up on Loomis. that. It's summer. down on my calendar there somewhere, but we'll, we'll let you know. We'll, we'll be in touch about okay. that. Okay. Let's uh-huh. get out of Townsville. Let's go up to Cairns. Let's go. And George Davies and Lucky Phil got together a little while ago, did some Daintree Blues, and they've gone their way. So George has gone this way. Lucky Phil's gone that way. But uh, here's a little bit from Cairns Musos. George Davies, Lucky Phil. Daintree Blues, take it away. I was lost in the city. I got a ticket for a midnight tree. I was hurt, wasn't pretty. I had a knock to escape that pain I had a knock up the dang tree Start my life all over again I had a knock up the dang tree Tried to escape that pain Dead tree, dead tree I hear you calling me A dead tree, dead tree I hear you calling me. Look at Phil, here we go. I wake up every morning. I see God smiling down on me. I wake up every morning. Thank God I'm living in the day tree. Day tree, day tree, I hear you calling me. A day tree, day tree, I hear you calling me. Look at Phil one more time. I was lost in the city. 
got a ticket for a midnight trip I was hurt, wasn't pretty I had a knock to escape that pain I had a knock up the day tree Start my life all over again I had a knock up the day tree Tried to escape that pain Day tree, day tree I hear you calling me Day tree, day tree I hear you calling me I wake up every morning I see God smiling down on me I wake up every morning Thank God I'm living in the day tree Dead tree, dead tree I hear you call me A dead tree, dead tree I hear you call me Dead tree, dead tree I hear you call me A dead tree, dead tree I hear you call me I hear you call me I you call me Daytree. Welcome back, exactly. Welcome back to that tarot lady, Christine Langtree. Wow. Hi, Christine. How are you? I'm very well, Marco. How are you? It's really good. And it's good to sort of see you uh, out here. We're out of the capsule. We're out in the open. We've left sort of space bill capsule and we're just out in the milky way somewhere and it's been so sort of long how you like the show so far it looks pretty cool daintree blues that guy george davies there on guitar sort mm -hmm. of was here in townsville for many many years based with those military guys and he left for the daintree and during cyclone yazzy we just tap forwards and backwards and forwards on the internet getting weather reports off each other and i come to know his music and then whatever and now he's teed up and he's playing in cans what do you reckon Fantastic. good blues stuff yeah, it sounds you like, great. You like your blues? Yep. And, sure do. and you've got a you've got a mutual sort of uh Thank you. Jas um, Jasmine and yourself both like tarot. Ah. ah. Into a bit of tarot. Yes, yes. I've yeah. been for a long time. Oh, yes. really? So. Yes. Do you read yourself? Yes. Oh, oh no, I can't do it now. Sorry. Ah. I can't read for a reader. So this is a different thing for Christine because I know that she's sort of written a few books. We'll tell her about that. You know, I want to get her to sort of give us a film script. But anyway, it's going to be all about tarot. So take tarot it away, Christine. Today. Tell us about tarot. Tell, tell us about what? that tarot lady. Tell us all about it. Oh, well, that tarot lady is one of my businesses. Um, I've been reading tarot for, uh, you know, 30 years probably. Yeah, 30 years. Wow. I know. How did Whoa. that happen? Oh, I don't know. Last time I remember it was Crystal. Jazz, Crystal. She knows crystal, crystals too, just like yourself. Crystals, She's into yeah. crystals. So. <laughs> okay. I'm a crystal yeah. girl. Yep. Yeah. This lady's Anywhere. got all this One stuff. One right now. Oh, very cool. Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I found it a long time ago. One oh, of the only bits of jewelry really? I've managed to not lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so what, do you have a shop around town, or no? I read from home. Yeah. I read on the net. Okay. Um, I do some uh, lessons sometimes, workshops. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a Facebook page or a website that we can you could tell that us about? Tarot lady. That tarot lady. Yep. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, great. Right. Yep. Excellent. Yeah. And that's so on Facebook as well. Yeah. Everybody, come, come and like my page. Yeah. yeah I will. Mm. Good. <laughs> I look forward to it. I'll say, hi, Jasmine. <laughs> oh, <I'm> wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so was I going to turn a few cards for you? Yes, Is that I, what I, okay. I think that I think. Take that it away, are. ladies. I, I like my life to be a mystery, you know. So you know, like just. I wouldn't like you to read your cards. No, <laughs> neither would I. <laughs> I'd be too scared to yeah, read so, your cards. <laughs> so would I, you know. But you know what they say about fear, Christine. Come on, you know, face everything, and yeah, yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Go on, take okay, it away. Well, I'm going to just have to put this mic phone down for a minute. Would you like me to hold it for you? Well, whatever you like. Okay. Tune in to jazz. Should I be thinking about anything? No. Oh, I don't think any see anything too negative coming up there yet. This is all good. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. These are great cards, Jazz. Excellent. Great cards. That's what I like to hear. Yep. Um, okay. What we've got here. Um, I've got you going into a period of your life, mm -hmm. okay, that is very kind of um, playful, okay? Mm -hmm. You've, it's like you've had a lot on your mind mm -hmm. probably for about two years, mm -hmm. okay? There's things that have really been weighing you down, but they're just sort of starting to lift. Mm -hmm. And you're going to come to a point very quickly where you uh, re re knew a bit of that sort of childhood joy, mm -hmm. okay? Do you feel like that's that's the sort of place that you're at at the Absolutely. moment? Absolutely. <laughs> See, I was getting body here. That knows oh, this yeah. lady, this lady is magic. Yeah, <laughs> keep going. All right. Behind you, I've got this. As I said, a period of struggle. Mm. It's also a period where you haven't sort of known who you are. Don't worry. I'm not going to say anything embarrassing. No, no. On no. camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you later. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what he likes. Yeah, go on. Um, so, y you know, you've sort of been, uh, you've lost, you have lost your core for a while uh -huh. and you've sort of been juggling, trying to find yourself again. I know it sounds very woo-woo. No, but, no, I understand. Yeah. Um, but you're there. You're, well, you're not there yet, but you're getting there. I feel okay. that. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. Now, look, I've got a few relationship cards here. Okay. All right. They're good relationship cards. Okay. All right. I've actually got a card here that used to be called the marriage card. Okay. All right. But when the cards were first invented, marriage was a different thing. You know, uh -huh. relationships are very different now. Uh -huh. So what we're talking about here is this is in the future. You're moving towards a part of your life, I guess. Yeah. That is going to be filled with a, um, a relationship in which both people are equally committed. Okay. All right. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Also got a bit of travel there for you. Awesome. Yeah. And... Um, so, you're not looking to have babies or anything? Not anytime, anytime soon. soon. Not without the relationship first. Oh, you haven't <laughs> got the relationship yet? <laughs> haven't got the relationship yet? No, no. Okay, well, I'm such. predicting. Well, <laughs> and look, I, it's not a month, but say within 18 months, all right, okay. that you will be in that relationship and it's going to be a real bang, you know? It's going to be like a truck hit you. Okay. And you'll be getting ready to have babies. I've got the two baby cards right after the other. Wow. Following the marriage card okay all righty look i have you here I, i've also got uh, a thing where there has been one person i would say in your life it's probably a woman who you've had an ongoing kind of uh split with it's not a split a conflict mm -hmm. okay that is coming to an end as well mm -hmm. it feels like a family conflict to mm -hmm. me you know uh with another woman yeah okay so long-running kind of irritation whatever it is you okay. know yeah and um that is that is on the way to being reconciled okay and yeah. uh you won't get everything you want but neither will they Okay. So there'll be a, Fair. you know, yeah. <laughs> it's not happily ever after, but no. it's we're able to go on without killing each other. All right? <laughs> so look, all right. that's what I got from that first Okay. Thing. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. That made sense to me. That's good. Excellent. Great Thanks to so hear much. It. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, um, yeah, <laughs> if, if people want to... Uh, Want to find you? Yep, my number I believe is up there, and uh, as you said on Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, I like you, and I'll share that out to my friends as well. That Excellent. Very good. I'll give you some cards. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay, I won't say no. <laughs> this Business is cards, I mean. <laughs> this is great, Christine. It's like a ma magical okay. mystery oh. tour. Oh, you oh, know, it's sort of all magic, and well, it's a bit of mystery, a bit and all well, sorts oh. of things going on. It's oh, sort of fantastic. Oh. The, oh. We've got oh, cameras oh. everywhere here. Yeah, there it <laughs> is. There yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check out Christine, that tarot lady, and there's all the details and whatever. And, um, yeah, we, we, we save all this too, Christine. It all ends up on that magical YouTube. So people oh. can sort of look back, and you can look back, and you can sort of see how it all goes. And a lot of other people can sort of come in contact with you and everything else like that. Cool. So it builds Sounds all the good. connections and everything else. Absolutely. It's really fantastic. You know? Life's a network. That's a really good. Do you like Magnetic Island? 
I love Magnetic Island. Sort of Jazz and I just sort of every now and then, just virtually, we just go over to Magnetic Island and just get out of the place and something like that. We leave Townsville and we usually just sort of go on a bit of a trip. And along our sort of mystery adventures of a little while ago, we found Matt Witten. Okay. And Matt sort of plays guitar in a couple of bands. He sort of does guitar work, bass work, does recording. And he also does a lot of film and video. Oh, okay. And compliments of sort of Matt Witten, hmm. we've got some of the things from the Bay. Bay Island Festivals. Mm. Jazz, remember the lady that was here at Bay Island Festivals? Yes, she They've was been lovely. busy doing all sorts of things on the island. They've had sort of pirate parties and shipwreck parties <laughs> and they've had all this other stuff. But they've also had some indigenous stuff. So um, thanks to uh, Elder Russell. Butler, uh, who's on Magnetic Island, and um, he does a little bit of a story, Dreamtime Stories, and thanks to Matt Witten also from the uh, filming of it, and that's what we got coming up now. Thanks Ooh. to Christine Thank and that so tarot lady. For thanks in. for Jazz. Very yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> let's just great. roll. Let's roll away with a little bit of an Indigenous art on sound art on Spaceville. Take it away. Yemeni, the rainbow serpent. And the rainbow serpent lives in all of our watercourses. He builds them. He travels from waterhole to waterhole by using all the underground springs. And every waterhole belongs to him. And one of his jobs is to keep all of us in line. So that when we do anything wrong, like if we kill an animal or waste food, he will be watching and we should look over our shoulder because he's going to come and scold us for what we've done wrong. We're not allowed to kill for fun. So these two boys, they come walking down to this big water hole and they had a bundle of cocky apple bar under their arm. And they were walking down and this old man saw them coming. Where you going? They said, oh, we're going to go down and do some fishing and poison that water hole down here. I said, oh, OK, well, you, can you bring me back some fish? And they said, yeah. How many you want? Oh, probably about five. So down they went. They bashed the bark on a log, make all the sap come out of the bark bundled it all up, jumped in the water, made sure no crocodile was in there, and distributed the sap right through the water. Disturbed all the bottom, and um, made the silt rise and mix with the water. So then it made it hard for the fish to breathe properly, fouling their gills. So after they distributed, they went and sat underneath a big tree, they had to wait for about two hours before that first fish started to rise or the fish poison started to take effect. So they went up and sat under the tree and then they went to sleep. Then they woke up and had a look at the water hole and the first ripple started to appear. And that's when they jumped in the water and they threw the barramundi out, they threw the black rim, perch, jungle perch, eel-tailed catfish. And they had enough, but they just kept going and going. And they emptied the water hole, and all the dead fish was all around the edge of the water hole. And the rainbow serpent, he seen this. That's when he went back into the water hole, slinked back down, and he sent a big barramundi right out into the middle of the water hole. And uh, when these two greedy boys saw that big barramundi, they jumped in immediately and tried to swim over there where and grab him. And that's when the rainbow serpent grabbed them, killed them, swallowed them disappeared back into the water hole. And the old man thought, well, they're taking a long time down there. I 
I better go down and see where, where they are. So when he did go down, there was nobody around. He couldn't see them. All the dead fish were all around the edge. And he thought, oh my goodness. What has happened here? And then he collected his thoughts and he knew it straight away. The rainbow serpent is here. It killed him because he, he didn't like what they were doing. They killed all these fish for, for nothing. It was just a waste. He started to dance around the water hole, trying to find where the rainbow serpent disappeared. Because when he would have went down, he would have went out into the underground spring. And that's when his foot broke through, when he was dancing. Foot broke through the ground. He could see where the rainbow serpent was going. And he danced all the way out onto the handhill plain. And when he got out there, he caught up with the rainbow serpent. He could see the tail of the rainbow serpent. And he had his little short hand spear. And he wanted them two boys back. So he grabbed his hand spear and just jabbed that rainbow serpent. The head reared up out of the ground and opened his mouth and spat out the two boys. They were dead. But the old man went over and he grabbed them and dragged them up and propped them up against the big ant bull ant nest. That's when he threw sand on them, dirt, and wiped all the slime off them. And that's when he got the bull ants, disturbed the bull ant nest and made them come out and bite them. And as they were, he was, his ants were biting those boys, he breathed a breath of life back into them. And when they come to, he told them, he said, you'd done the wrong thing when you went down to that water hole. You had enough fish, you had enough tucker, but you continued to kill. You weren't meant to kill that much fish, and that's why the rainbow serpent punished you. You never take more than what you really need from the bush, and that's the law. Welcome back to Spaceville. We're out of the box with Jasmine and myself. We just escaped the capsule and uh, yeah, we're sort of gonna go right out to the Milky Way. We're out of the machine. Jazz, what did you like about that? Yeah, it's great on the island. Oh, that's All just a really beautiful. great video. It's really ambient, really beautiful. Yeah, I loved it. It's great. Yeah. I think Dominic I there is sort of dancing uh -huh. and also all put together by Matt Witten and thanks to uh, Russell Butler for the story and everything else. We've got a little bit more of that coming up too soon, huh? Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. We've got a series of those really good. But for now, all the way back from, well, I don't know, the other side of the planet... <laughs> Is Andy Lucas. G'day Andy, how are you? G'day mate, how are you? Yeah, really good mate. It's good to sort of see you back and follow your adventures with all the family sort of way over there in old yeah. Europe. How do you feel like touching ground back in Townsville again? Fantastic, love to be, love to be yeah? home, yeah. Yeah, the weather's right now at the moment, isn't it mate? It's fantastic. It's, it's very crowded over there and we don't, um, we have uh, so, so lucky to live in North Queensland. So. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, um, camera, camera, he's back home. Check this out, check this out. He's back at home. We were just talking of off there before that. This is what it's like living in North Queensland, you know. We, we're Kaz here. And sort of, uh, Andy, where were you up? Ravenshoe or something the other well, day? I was in Ravenshoe on the weekend. Played at the Misty Mountains Music uh, first birthday. It was great fun. Oh, I reckon. And uh, played some friends up there. It was fantastic. Red Saw country. Yeah. yeah Ravenshoe. Look at that. 
Jazz, is that a uh, beer or is that uh, a uh, beer? Uh, oh, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Where was that, Andy? Where was that? <laughs> oh, I think that was in. Um, geez, where was that, Nan? Munchen. Okay, okay. Munchen. <laughs> say hello, say hello to your daughter. Come on, this oh, yeah, is where we're out in the open. Hello, <laughs> how are you? You should come up here or something like that and join us. Come on in. We're taking the whole you family. Come up here, doll. Dan, oh. good to sort of see you. Leave come that doll there. Join Dad if you want to. Come you on. Can sit up here. Leave that doll there. Yeah, yeah. Come and join the family. Why not? The doll's coming. Yeah, up. we do all these sorts of things in Spaceville. Why not? Yeah, what do you reckon, Jazz? Is it's fun? Yeah, Andy. Oh, yeah, Happy Road. <laughs> oh, I was right. I was writing to Andy, and I sort of went, "Get down to Happy Road," and he oh. did. Look yeah, at well, that. Uh, yeah, Marco, you uh, prompted me to set, go to St John's, St. 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 Oh. John's Wood. Yeah, it was like a shrine. It was like going yeah. to the shrine for me. 1977. I finally found Happy Road and went walking <laughs> there too. So you know, look at that. Oh, that's me and um, oh. Gillies from Singapore. I thought it was George Benson. No, <laughs> it's George Benson's son who now lives in Singapore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Crofty Gales and that. Yeah, so the Lucas family. Mate, it's good to see that you brought your guitar and uh, you've been playing sort of with the boys Tinker's Cuss and I know you've got a few things you can let us know. But, um, hey, Mike's all yours. You're bursting. I know you're just sort <laughs> I'm of not bursting, bursting to play no. a song. So uh, it's all over to you. Sort of... Give us okay. a tune, mate. Gonna do a song called uh, "Get to Me," and it's um, written about um, people that might uh, uh, annoy you at work.
Yes, would you reckon you like that? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, job. yeah. <laughs> okay, Ethan, how you going? Yeah. So what do you reckon? You you played the Bellevue. Jazz, you played the Bellevue. Only that one time. Only that one time, so it's Andy many, many times. <laughs> so, man, we it's all have. There's a fair few of us that all say that you're part of that whole sort of thing now, unfortunately. This, this Sunday, is it? Yeah, this yeah, Sunday yeah. at the Vic Park? Vic Park 21st. At what time? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to the Bellevue this 21st. Is it? Is uh, it Bellevue, Bellevue this Sunday? Yeah, Vic Park 28th, as Ethan is just... Text in for me. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. What well, time does that kick off? At uh, about three or? Three o'clock at the Bellevue, two o'clock at um, Vic Park. And we've got um, every, um, we've got two two gigs right up through December on each each venue. Excellent. Uh, November, uh, October, November, December, including September as well. Oh, cool, oh, cool. Oh, oh. An inside info or something like that. You're doing some things with uh, Chrissy Misson and uh, and Christo, yeah? Well, we're just, I'm just um, putting it out there. I'm trying to, we used to play, I used to play another band before at the um, boat club and um, I went and played for Chris last Sunday and um, and Christo was there as well so w- hopefully it's going to be a, just the three of us uh, one hour each and we'll okay. do gigs like that yeah right on the water yeah, yeah. on the back, back there at the motorboat just club just going to talk to Mark uh, from the boat club talk oh, to me oh, good idea I reckon it's great it's a good location been there many a times it's really good you know mate thanks for coming in and Jazz, what do you reckon? Hey, guess what? what a little Welcome cutie. to the Milky Way. <laughs> yeah, some chockies you can have them sort of things because we've You're got. Oh, how sweet yeah. sharing with your dad. The, sort of oh. the dark, the dark night came sort of the other week on our show, and he brought us Mars bars. But wow. this time he sent us Milky Ways. I thought, well, why not? You know, seeing it's Spaceville, we're on the Milky <laughs> Way. That's really good. Ah, time-wise, it's like wouldn't have a clue. It's just like kicking out. We're losing time, Jazz. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just go back with a little bit of Russell Butler, Indigenous Elder on Magnetic Island, and Dominique and Matt have sort of put together some more sort of visuals for us Wonderful. to give us a bit of an idea of that. Thanks to Andy, yeah, and thanks thank to the whole Lucas me. family. Good to see you back home again and sort of uh, in the north. It's fantastic. Do come again for sure, and we'll check us out on Sunday for sure too, yeah? Thanks a lot for having me. It's yeah, awesome. uh, you're welcome. It's in. really good. <laughs> okay, take it away. Let's go to... Magnetic Island. This story is about um, a story that travels all the way to um, the Mulgrave River up in Cairns and the big pointy hill, which is the, the pyramid. And the pyramid is the English name, but ours is Jerrigan, which is a scrub end nest. And what happened is that a long time ago there was a dingo living on Jerrigan. And he noticed this kangaroo feeding down in the flats there near the mulgrave. And then he decided, well, I'm going to go down there. I'm hungry too. I'm going to eat the kangaroos. So this story goes way back, part of a, a storyline that travels all the way. It belongs to all the people from from Gordon Vale to, to Townsville. So the story is a, is about the last kangaroo in the rainforest. So the dingo sees him feeding, and he decides, well, I'm hungry too. I'm going to eat that kangaroo. So down off Jerrigan he come and he raced, chased the kangaroo and the kangaroo run all the way down the coast. Jumped over all the rivers, all the creeks and streams and then run down here and went to Gulliman, which is the tip of Cape Cleveland and jumped in off the end of the, off the end of Cape Cleveland. That's his head sitting in the water, and the lighthouse today is sitting on top of it. But the kangaroo, one time ago, was just sitting there, and the dingo comes down and he stops and props on the banks of Galvadera, which is Ross River. And he sits there watching the kangaroo. And 
reason he doesn't get in the water is because he won't, he's learned a long time ago not to jump in the water with a kangaroo. Because underneath the water is these big forearms. And when he goes swim, swims over close, the kangaroo used to reach out and grab him and drown him. So that's why the dingo stops in the middle of town. The dingo is, his shape is a Melton Terrace, is his front paws. His head and shoulders is the lookout and his backbone is where you drive up to go up to the lookout. His back legs is Yarrawonga and his tail runs out to West End. So that's how Aboriginal people look at that big red rock from the north. And it means that you can't, whenever you see a kangaroo in the bush, in the water up to his neck, it's not good, not very healthy for you to jump in the water with him because he'll kill you. That's his environment. And dingoes have learned never to jump in there. And they've passed it on to all the other animals, all their um, offspring. And that's the way it is. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Where have we been? Where have we been? We sort of just blasted out tonight, haven't we? We sort of were all over the place or something like that. Well, well yeah. I am. I don't know about everybody else. Oh. I feel like I'm off the planet, Jazz. Ah, uh, looking What's out at the stars because uh, yeah, we're on the porch. We're on the porch of the spacecraft here. We just sort of left. We got we got sort of lights everywhere and cameras going. Buses going by. One day, hey, there's the ferry terminal. Let's go. Let's just jump on the ferry <laughs> or something. Let's just get out of here. We got too many bright lights. The pub's over there waiting for us. Yeah, <laughs> that should be really good. Jazz, hey, you've been taking some happy snaps, yeah? I have. I've been getting happy down at the Strand and I figure it's wow. been just beautiful weather at the moment. It Isn't couldn't it be great? much more marvellous than it is yeah. right now. Fantastic. So, yeah, I like hey, give it. us a walk. Give us a walk. Jazz's walk on the Strand with all the artwork, sound, you know, a bit of different artwork. So, what's this one? Uh, what have we got? We've got the lady on the scooter there. They're all scattered all down as you walk down the Strand. You can yeah. You can find these pictures tucked away everywhere on the sides of bins and by the coffee shops. That's and better. They're everywhere. It's yeah. Just a of, um, sort of the of life noticing savers. it and paying attention, you know. Yeah. Yeah, bike riders and everything else. For all our people way out there in space who are sort of tuning in from far distant locations and whatever, this is a little bit of sort of like some of the artwork we have here in Townsville. And uh, it's like right along the waterfront. Hey, there's an ice cream. Yeah, you ever been to Cold Rock? Yes, yeah, yes. That's cool, my little eh? cousin's favourite place yeah. to hang out. We go and chill out down there yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> and check it out. You've got the saint in the background there too or something like that. Very, very sort of clever artistic work they sort of got. This is This is great, yeah. And they're there all they're all relating to kind of what's what's there, yeah. you know. Like that one's near the ice cream shop. Cool. There's there's one taken near the basketball courts. It's yeah. just a matter of paying attention to these it things. It is, really, yeah. You know, just open up your in. eyes and see yeah, what's going on. That's yeah. It. Have you seen the one bit further on? There's uh, near the waterfall. There's a whole lot. There's whales and turtles uh -huh, and yeah. all the sailing boats and everything else I, on the building I, there. I must actually get some pictures on that big old building that's yep. there. Yeah, yeah. I must yeah. get some pictures yeah. of that. Sometime, as, as you yeah. go towards uh, towards the waterfall, Do you know the waterfall. Just I know where you mean. There? I saw they put food coloring in that one. So yeah. And all sorts of oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gone green. It's gone red. It's sort of pink for all the ladies. <laughs> uh, breast cancers and all that sort of stuff. It was yeah. green the other day. For oh no, there's another one. I think. <laughs> but yeah, the dugong. There's the dugong oh, there. The yeah. Dugong. Yeah, it's a little bit blurry, but. And uh, I'm not too sure when there's the strand ephemera. It sort of comes around everywhere, and there's okay. artwork all the way along. They build oh, all wow. these sorts of different things or something like that. So is that a free up. thing? Watch it. Yep, it's a free thing. Oh, that sounds like my kind of thing to go and yeah. check out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sort of like a big sort of thing that, you know, they build a Build a beach house on there one time. It's oh, was fantastic. Wow. Yeah, no idea it's what. Really good. No idea what kind of month they do that in. Oh, here we are. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll know about soon. Where are we now? Just on the strand again. I'm just chilling out there at oh. some sunset. Yeah, it's a great place to be. Down oh, by the rock yeah. pool. Yeah, it's Looks not like too far away. Not pool. too far away from there. Just up a bit. Uh, sunsets <laughs> going down. Yeah, That's yeah. It. <laughs> fantastic sort of stuff. And there's a lot of things. Uh, there's one question I wanted to ask you. It's a real doozy. Mm -hmm. Did you find the peace tree? 
Did I find the peace tree? The peace tree. I haven't found the peace okay. tree yet. Okay, there's still a little bit of a mystery to go. And thanks to Christine <laughs> and the tarot lady, you might have to sort of do some card works and <laughs> shovel a few cards and find out where the peace tree is and you can come back and let me know. It is okay. on the strand. <laughs> and for all those people out there in the world or someone, the, the trip is on. The journey is on. Find the peace tree on the strand in Townsville and let us know where it is. There's all the texts and things like that. Take a photo and send it to us. Yeah. Look at that. There's Brian's stuff, hey? Is that Brian's? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Br- pretty Brian cool. was going to come in. Brian's from Terrapin. He plays with sort of Tasha Zapala uh-huh. and he does sort of great drums recording and all that sort of I stuff. I think he was just a bit held up tonight at work, I yeah, think. Yeah, he sort of got caught up. So uh, right. just to give you an idea, here's a bit of a tour of Summer Brian. Oh, there I you like go. I that owl. My favourite There you go. Owl. The night uh-huh. owl. There you go. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, I like a hoot. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sort of a little bit of a dragon. Would have been great. It's good. Brian, where are you? We need you, yeah? Oh, next time, Explain hey. Explain about it. Yeah, uh-huh. next time and whatever. Uh-huh. But it's sort of things. There you go. I've seen these posters all over the place. Tasha Zapala, Drawing Trees, EP launch. That's coming up very soon. Awesome. So, um, hang on. Where is it? Jazz, it's just behind you. 7 p.m. Sunday, the 5th, oh. 5th of October. There you go. And it's at the piano bar at the... Um, the venue. Ah, oh, yeah, the okay. Yeah, the venue for yep. Industry West, yeah. Yep. So chatting with Tasha nice. the other day, she's jumped off to Melbourne to get some video done. So hopefully when she puts it all together, she can come in here in Spaceville and show us all her new video. That'll be fantastic. Excellent. Hey? And yeah. do it, speaking of videos, do we have another one to go? We've got plenty of them. Um, Just I'm never lost ends, in, does it? I'm <laughs> lost in space. We've got to have a look down here. Miriam Lieberman. Yeah, okay. Lovely lady. And uh, she does a lot of acoustic music and different sort of things. So she's put okay. together a little bit of a video. We like So that. without great hesitation, let's just go straight into it. Let's hey. check it out. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Well, it's summer time again. Like a load, long lost friend with the gypsy bed. Just stay a while with me He said follow your heart Don't wait to fall before you even start Time will change it all Build the garden heart, build a garden in your heart, build a garden in your heart, build a garden in your heart, the 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 garden in your heart. sort of filmed on beautiful magnetic island did you like the scenery lovely film clip there yeah we we love this place so i I know you really like it i'm headed for the island soon i think i've had enough of town yeah i suppose yeah (laughs) all the buses and trams and taxis and whatever yeah of course it does it sort of can sort of get you down you need to sort of escape and we've got part of a magnetic island it's just for those people who don't know just a short 20 25, 25 minutes now? It used to be 20 minutes because you used to go to Picnic Bay. Now you go to Nelly Bay. About yeah? 20, 25, but it goes so yeah. fast, you yeah. know. It's so so scenic. And, and they're having a Bay Island Festival over there where they're just having all this great music, artwork, and all sorts of different things going on and uh-huh. something like that. So fantastic sort of stuff. Uh, next, we've got a little bit of things to sort of keep on rolling with. Art House in Cairns. Great place. It's a house, yard. 
big garage out the back. They've just been real sort of alternative music people. Unfortunately, they're closing down. Here's oh. the news from Cairns. And check out this sound art. This is fantastic sort of stuff, but it's going to be going on in another world. Art House Cairns. Check this. You don't need a permit to practice culture. My name is Falcon Crest. You've never met me, yet we know each other so well. I am the art house puppet master. I have come out of hiding to spread some sad and beautiful words. The venue formerly known as Art House is closing down for reasons beyond our control. Art House existed to get away from red tape, bureaucracy, micromanagers, and cultural gatekeepers that stifle our cultural landscape. You don't need a permit to practice culture. Art House runs on karma credits, not cashola or government handouts. Art House is you, the punters, the artists, the culture keepers. The legacy of Art House will be felt for many years to come through you. You don't need a permit to practice culture. Art House encourages you to think laterally. How can you be part of the cultural future? Art House is not bricks and mortar, is not Excel spreadsheets, is not bums on seats accountability, is not mediocrity dressed up as cutting edge work. Art House is now. Art House is still present. Art House is future. You don't need a permit to practice culture. Welcome to Cooking Alanel at Magnetic Island, North Queensland. Another day, another bay, another recipe. Do you recall a saying, breakfast like a king, lunch like a soldier, and dinner like a beggar? But with a touch of class when it comes to taste. I believe that my omelette is tasty and healthy, but it's very easy technique. Why don't you try? Step one, three free range egg. Beat them first. One, two, three. Can you count? Yeah, three. And we add the garlic. Thai green curry a little bit. Remember this one is beautiful. This is Pesto, mix together. Now we wanna heat the oil in a pan. In a medium heat, just in a medium heat. I cannot wait for this omelette to cook actually. Now we add mung bean sprouts. Beautiful. As required to make beautiful color. You don't need to measure how many gram and open the recipe book. You don't have to. And this one, dry tomato. Beautiful to make it tasty. You sprinkle everywhere. Just mix them around. Mmm. Secret is dry tomato. Dry tomato is the secret. Beautiful. Should I try? Nice color here. I'm gonna take a picture on the back here. Look, it's still nice color, darling. Come on, have faith. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's not, not burn yet. You see, so it's good. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I make it. Good. That's right. Just check, 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 check. Just leave it for a second. And then. Waitress, plate please. Everything checked. Oh, it is when come to a taste beautiful, still beautiful. It is my tasty omelette, easy method. Trust me, only takes a butt. 
six, seven minutes that first What more do you want then? And how great is Nell? Oh, cooking with Nell is just fantastic, isn't it? What She's a, a hoot, isn't she? What a cool lady. I'd what love to cool meet her lady. one day. Master <laughs> chef. <laughs> My kitchen rules. We've got a beautiful lady that does cooking shows. We like to do cooking shows. We were cooking with Goodo last time. That was a hoot, doing a cake. But Nell's all really, really good too. We're, we're going to have to rush straight on to the next vid I though, aren't so. we? I think so. Yeah, I suppose. We're sort of just kicking back at the beach. Uh, what is next? What have uh, we got next? Lost track. Oh, oh, yeah. We had uh, Gordon Sheard from Cairns Musos. G'day, Cairns Musos. Say good day to Cairns Musos because they're, they're all checking in, all the flaming cane toads and everybody else is supping. Hello from out on the porch here in Townsville. And uh, yeah, Gordon come down to Townsville and played some rockabilly. So we caught up cool. in the um, in the inner, inner capsule and did some video. And here it is. Check it out. This is Australia's rock and roll legend, Gordon Sheard from Cairns. Check it. And welcome to Spaceville. And from Cairns Musicians is Gordon Sheed. G'day, Gordon. Good to sort of see you here in Townsville. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, thanks for having us here. And uh, we're going to have a bit of a fun over the next few days. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of fun. What brings you to Townsville? Well, there's uh, a little show on. Well, actually, it's a big production now called Brock and Rods. It's grown day by day. Mm, yeah, out there at the Cluden Racetrack, That's big, right. huge location. You've got plenty of room to sort of party out there. Yeah, and Molly Malone's tonight, I think. We've ah, there. Molly Malone's, well-known Irish pub here in Townsville. Great. And you're, you brought down a few of your Cairns musician mates too? Yes, the little band's called uh, Red Dice. Red Dice. Yes, and Sorry, uh, Kevin. Kevin Michael Harris, I should give you his full name, is a... Uh, exceptional double bass player who plays with a very percussive sound mm. and it's a chrome double bass yeah that's an interesting yeah, i want to talk to kev about that and have an experience it yeah. yeah that's really good yeah, and on drums um he gets all sorts of names but uh we'll just call in julian okay well, how when did you start playing guitar when, when when did you get into music i think i picked up my first guitar in 58 uh, that was probably long before you were born ah i'm a 54 model huh uh, i'm a 54 yeah. model yeah and uh and got full on into playing guitar in the early 60s and was just lucky enough to be at the right place at the right time and work with a lot of the the early rockers down there yeah yeah that was some of that. my first shows i was very young as a matter of fact my father had to go with me to uh, to the licensed premises and uh, it's 21 year old drinking in those right. days i was still in school no, so i, I never I got to go to the gigs than, yeah, a lot younger than 21 but uh, yeah <laughs> i was just wondering um is it were you playing with lonnie lee that's right with lonnie lee with uh, cole joy with johnny o'keefe just about all those old rockers in that that period wow yeah, yeah that's great that's Heaps great of them. some of them still with us some unfortunately gone and moved on yeah. my mother and father danced at the trocadero i've heard that's a big place were you did you yeah, ever I've play at the trocadero played there two or three times wow yeah, yeah. That had a revolving stage. Amazing. It sort of, I think it's moved on now. It's changed, oh, yeah, it's hasn't a, it? It's a theatre oh, now. All right. Surf City? I heard Surf, about yeah, Surf City. I played there too. With Billy Thorpe, the Aztecs, all those people? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's enough about history about you, but you're still going. That's so brilliant. Still going. Old rock and roll yeah. has never Just died. Just a survivor. Yeah. Uh, you're a survivor. That's great. And what sort of uh, Red Dice, what's Red Dice all about? What sort of music? What, Red Dice is just full-on rockabilly a very authentic type of rockabilly based on uh, a very early Gene Vincent style and uh, I'm just lucky enough to be around to, to know all the old licks to play on guitar and get it fairly accurate. Ah, I think that's sort of great. We, I think we have a real deal here. We have a, a legend in sort of Australian music and it's really good to know. What brought you to Cairns? Well, I travelled there a few times on holidays from Sydney 
and uh, it was cheaper just to move up there, you know. Yeah, yeah. okay. And, and, of course, the lifestyle and the weather. Yeah. And lots of family there, too. Sure, too. Yeah, it's the weather that keeps me here. And, uh, Gordon, I know because I've been up there and visited you all at the 12 Bar Blues. Yeah, that's at, a bit of uh, Right in Shield yeah. Street, Cairns. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sunday night regularly. That's, that's an ongoing thing. It's... Uh, I think I've got a spare bed there. Ah, I've spent so that's much all time right. There. And cheers. And good, good and sort of gracefully sort of helped out a few of us Townsville musicians when we were up there in Cairns. And it was great to build those sort of bonds along with yourself and Chris Ellis. Yep. Chris and Ellis is a great supporter of Cairns Musos and all visiting Musos, as is uh, Paulie Roxon. Yep. Who you know. Paulie. Yeah. And Alita helps out a lot of people oh, too. Brett, with you know Brett, don't you? Yes, yeah. Brett also. Yeah, yeah Brett, Brett Charles. Charles. Yes, yeah, yes, cheers. Yes. Helps out. Yeah, yeah, and Jimmy too. Jimmy Davies is on camera there too. Jimmy Davies camera. is is behind the camera all the time. I met him on Facebook, then I had to meet him in there when I was there. It was yeah, great. Yeah. And the lovely Irene Barrett sort of does so much for the, uh, the yeah, musical she promotes, scene with uh, the radio. Yeah, all the live uh, blues and rock, and uh, and she promotes all Australian artists as well as overseas artists. It's so great. Those. And there's a little trek being organised with a few of us Townsville lights to go up there and play at the Fun Factory. Excellent. I, I'm a regular visitor there too. That's the fun factory with Rolly and all the friends? Yep, Rolly and, and Tim and, and Maz and yep. How to go last weekend? I heard you were playing there. Huge. 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 It had a 10, ten band lineup. Wow, ten band lineup, and mm. I've been there myself, and it's a fantastic social scene. Very warm, very invited, very hospitable, and it's sort of great to be that part. Yeah, yeah, and you'll come to play rockabilly, yeah, yeah? rockabilly, rock and roll. Okay, yeah. yeah, check out their Facebook. You'll find it on Facebook, and you'll find a whole lot of photos. And, and the rockabilly scene is really back, and it's good with someone an experience that was there in the middle of Australian rock and roll when it started, and then you've carried that tradition. What a wonderful sort of legacy you're leaving us all, Gordon. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's Thank appreciated yeah. uh, that you've come all this way to join us on Spaceville, and uh, you're welcome any time. And bring the boys in there. We want to see this sort of live action. Yep, we'll it'll, get you it'll, it'll happen over the next few days. It yeah. will do. Yeah, we'll see you at Molly's tonight, and we'll see you at the Cluden Racetrack, and it's race on, yeah? Yep, sure uh, thing. Okay, thanks for coming in. Cheers. Thank you very much. Kicking back here on the porch with Jasmine and Marco, having a great time. What a rush, Jazz. I know, I know. Yeah. So so let's talk about what have we got? We've got Tempest this Friday night. We Tempest? are in a rush now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Tempest is on at the Old Courthouse Theatre. No, uh, yeah, Old Courthouse Theatre, Perfume the Gardens. In the gardens this gonna time. going to be open air sort Beautiful. of thing. Beautiful. That would yeah. be great. I think they had to cancel that last time. So, yeah. So it would be great to Jama and Hallelujah Baby from Townsville are going to be doing it. And there's a whole gig in the courthouse itself too, so you know, you'll know you find out. Look up all the relative places and things like that. Doesn't she look good in gold and black? Yeah, gold and black. Yeah, the dark night to be happy. Ah, Dogwood Crossing, Crossroads and Drawing Circle, and they're going to be on later on. Rock and Alan Rachel are going to come in, and oh. then later on it's sort of, uh, well, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll work it out. Anyway, we've had fun. It's really been we good. Have. Barry Morgan's coming up. Oh, it's all happening here in space and Townsville and whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to sort of thank all our guests for coming in. Yeah, you enjoyed it with yeah, Christine? Yeah, thanks, everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. And thanks to Andy and family. And, uh, yeah, sort of let's just get out of here. Let's sort of the next show roll on. Space of is on its way. Cheers from us out here on the veranda in Peace the beautiful out. Townsville. Check you next time. Next Hooray. time.
and welcome to Spacepedia, the second segment of Space Film. My name's Rachel. What's and I'm, I'm rocking L. Does my, does my microphone work or what? I'm just checking, testing one, it's two, Q, three. Q, one, two. <laughs> I think it is. Hey. Hello, everybody. Hello in Townsville. Hello up yeah, there. Yeah, hey, we're outside and it feels it's a completely different vibe here just because just oh, you wanted to know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, loving it. Hey, big thank you to Marco and Jazz for Space Plug. Oh, Always awesome. Wasn't it good? And uh, yeah, so uh, Spacepedia, what's coming up in part two? We've got a bunch of um, mus- uh, musical acts to show you from around Australia, a bunch of music film clips. And also we're going to let you know what's going on in our lovely town of Townsville. We don't really know, but it doesn't matter. That's <laughs> life. We, um, but it's looking beautiful. I can see lights, so therefore uh, obviously people are paying the electricity bill, which is important, isn't it? Don't you yeah, think? definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And uh, oh, look, there's waving. Hello, look, everybody there. Oh, there he is. Look at that fella there. On you the watch streets him. in Townsville. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he was giving me a hard time. Oh, look at that. There's lights. That's beautiful. Oh, look, it's a bit like Sydney Harbour. All right, so if you do miss anything, uh, we like slow about tonight. <laughs> you can always head to www.townsvillewhatson.com to uh, yeah catch anything That's it. that look you may that. Where'd that come from? And there's all the bands that get supported. Townsville What's On dot com support local live music so that's what it's all about get down to your venue and have a look oh there we are look <laughs> hey um so what was your highlight of the fortnight album? My, my highlight was uh um uh, oh i went and saw british india oh no nice, yeah nice. they were great it's awesome. nice to see oh, an outside band yeah that's on a bit early really but anyway obviously the producer's drunk again <laughs> um but okay, uh, we won't talk about that no, okay that, so british india yeah what yeah. was describe it oh, three well, words it was great it was really great nice tight kind of what yeah. kind of music do they are they like a band or are they like electro i actually oh, don't no, really know electro. And you gotta be kidding i don't go to see electro They're, okay you know i don't go to see someone's bloody computer Okay. Jeez. I do. Yeah, well, you shouldn't. Yeah. Anyway, um, because they're not musos, they're pretenders. Uh, that doesn't matter. We don't mind. I don't care. Bring it on. I'll see you. I'm out in the park here. That's if you it. want to argue with me, you can. I'll look forward to it. I'm a fighting man tonight. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we support local music. Those um, galas that were on before, they're part of our Know Your Natives competition. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm looking later. forward to that. Oh, it's big. You know, it's a bit I'm all like informed about that, aren't I? Rachel, do you want to be... Do you want to be a millionaire? Uh, well, you can't be because you aren't entering the competition. All right, <laughs> uh, it's okay. You're not allowed. Oh yeah. Speaking of competitions, we actually have a ticket to give away for um, Barry Manilow. Barry Morgan, oh, the Morgan. organ guy. I knew it was and, something like um, that. And yeah, so we've got He's a we've got a ticket to give away. I'll um, oh, we let you there know. He is. Look at that! Yep. Isn't what a set of teeth that man's got. I see that. I'm it jealous. seems like it'll be a really good show. So yes. he's going to be playing for you at the Courthouse Theatre on Saturday, and uh, I'll release the question um, after this first song. So let's check out this first song. This is Townsville lad at Yamahag. You may be yep. familiar with him. He's been on the show a couple of times. Yep. You might have seen him play around Townsville. Uh, this is at the the rec room, it stars. Let's check it out. You're on space.
Thank you to, and that was Yamaha, and a big thank you to Marco for the Spaceville banner. Look at you. it. Nice. Wow. Nice. Hey, um, joining us here on the porch is John. And John, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> but you're I'm from Molly Malone. <laughs> you're so funny. That's beautiful. I love it. I'm just I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> That's any help. I'm from Did you know Townsville. I was from Australia? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, well, whereabouts in Ireland are you from? I'm uh, from the southeast, a place called Waterford. Okay, cool. And so, in, is that why you work at Molly's? Like, and what do you do? Are you a barmaid or something? Bar- <laughs> <laughs> barmaid, barmaid. Barman. I'm a hairy it's barmaid. It's getting funnier by the second. <laughs> no, uh, he's the boss, Rachel. Come on. <laughs> You're the boss? <laughs> yeah, I'm the boss. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, you boss people around and... Yes, in my Irish accent as much as I can. Nice, so nice. So he, good. Yeah, so he goes, oh, never gonna suck. We so don't Molly, know what he's saying, we're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Moans is our venue of the fortnight. So what yep. kind of shenanigans happen at Molly's? Oh. Oh, all types of shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. It's never, it's never ending. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, exciting. Like, I can't invent like, what's happening uh, entertainment-wise, say, this weekend. Uh, this weekend, yes, um, in Molly's, we've got um, Why Wait is coming to play. Oh, okay. yes. Yes, yes, cool. Very good. Yep. Uh, good I say what, actually, it's not Why Wait. Oh. <laughs> well, <they're laughs> I get mixed up with all the they're bands. They're both good actually. bands. With <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the social, we've got uh, Fishing. We're coming up from Sydney. Uh, okay. They're wow. on Triple J at the moment. Uh, they got a new album out, Shy Glow. Yeah. How um, much is that? Is there like a door fee? Uh, like it's entry? free entry before 11 o'clock, and okay. then it's, I think it's 10 bucks after, so it's That's not too bad cool. at all. So. I see. Social always has like awesome, awesome. Mm. Do you pick like the the acts there? Or? Uh, uh, sometimes I do. Uh, well, uh, with Jake Reed, he does most of the bookings. Okay. So um, yeah, so it's, we we, we kind of tried to pick to 
together or I just say I just put my hand up and say yes that's that's good okay <laughs> and so um, I was there the other night as you probably noticed in, in fact I think you escorted me <laughs> off the premises but that was British <laughs> India yeah, yeah British India yeah, yeah. they were great Loved yeah them. British India was I've really always good. liked them really yeah. tight yeah, yeah so very good, good. yep yeah. mm. and a few local bands as well to support them yes uh, go on here's your test <laughs> <laughs> uh, why wait <laughs> 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 and the lost and boys, the lost boys yeah. yeah that's right yeah, very nice. good yeah. so kind of do I've actually heard about some like famous chicken schnitzel that's like massive is that at Molly's like uh, we've got the crumb steak I suppose yeah, that's the big that's one to choose and I crumb steak yeah it's, I've uh, been there and eaten that yeah it's yeah. quite popular I can see like behind $10. us $10 that's that's right. our Thursday night deals yeah that's yeah. Uh, $10 schnitzel Thursday night Thursday, Thursday night Thursday night Thursday night Thursday night Thursday night yes. yep. and you've got like live entertainment what Tuesday through to Saturday or something uh, like that we've got open mic nights from Thursday on, and then we've got live music Friday Saturdays yeah, yeah. cool so. And uh, look at all those things behind the bar there. They look like cans. Yeah, we've got a beer launch in our new bar, the Pick and Shovel, uh, yep. on Friday from 4 p.m. Uh, right. We've got a Cougar Wish, which is uh, a Belgian wit beer. Beautiful. Um, so it's, we, you should have bought some for us to try. Uh, I should have, but it's in keg form, so yeah, I should have uh, got it in bottles or something. You could have rolled it around, mate. Something. Come on, you could have yeah, rolled it I could have done that. So, but yeah, everybody's <laughs> welcome down to test it out. So we're hoping to introduce new beers every couple of weeks. Cool. Just have some Australian plonk. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And um, <laughs> do you want to explain that picture? That's, that's yeah, what's the go with that, mate? What have you been on? Um, I don't know. There's some, you've been in the pick and shovel having a good time, haven't yes, you? Yes, I had a few yeah. beers of that photograph. Oh, yeah, so excellent. Was, yeah, Who great. stole that? I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've got Flinders Social. It's always good there. Every time I've gone in there, it's a nice, friendly atmosphere. Mm. You've, al- you've also got... Um, Thursday nights, um, open mic sort of thing, is it? Or is it every second Thursday? What's uh, it's every that? week. Um, oh, every week, yep. yeah. different artists are coming down every week and it's mm. good. I think we had a bit of a hip-hop last Thursday for oh, some really? other reason. Oh, OK. Um, cool. So whoever really turns up, it's it's always good. Yep, yep. 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 Speaking of hip-hop, I just um, I wanted to put that question out there for the Barry Morgan competition. Just, sorry, excuse me, before I forget. So the question for the Barry Morgan competition is to win a ticket... Um, just text us on 0498 728 or our Facebook or blog or whatever. And the question is, is Barry Morgan's eyes A, blue, B, pink, C, brown? All right, if you oh, want a ticket for Saturday. I just thought I'd do that before uh, I forgot. John's a bloodshot. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's my photo, I mean. So anyway. And uh, just one more question. I just kind of was curious. Is Molly, like, uh, Molly's, like, owned by, like, a corporation or is it, like, you know, family um, kind of? There's, there's two owners. The uh, one lives local and one lives in Western Australia, but it's been run for the same group about 15 years now. Mm. Um, just had Good different stuff. managers and stuff, and I've been in charge for about three years now. All right. Another three. And what's Lovely. the best thing about you, your job at uh, It's always different. Molly. Like, it's good to have the socials, good to have the pick, and it's good to have Molly's. There's something always going on, and we do uh, metal nights upstairs yeah. as well, and comedy. Yeah, Molly's and Chamber of Rocks. I haven't I been really to one of them yet. Um, yeah. And I really yeah, mean, do. I nearly got there the other week, but I was just too tired from Friday night. Yeah. Right? Oh, and one more question. How is that um, hypnosis guy? Because I did it. hypnosis guy was really good. cool? Yeah. Did you hypnotize was, people? Yeah, yeah, off the spot. He was just yeah? really good. Yeah, he awesome. was really cool. Yeah. Will you get, like, like, were many people there for that, or? Um, yeah, there was about 30, 40 people there, so and they had some dinner, so it was good. But um, <laughs> so I'd keep going, mate. Keep yeah, 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 keep plugging <laughs> it. Go on. Um, yeah, we're trying to do more comedy as well in the future, so just cool, trying yeah, to comedy just as much as possible. That'd be really cool because I was just in Melbourne and checked out the Comics Lounge on a Monday night, and it was just hyper to have a place like that on a Monday night to go to. Like. Yeah, yeah, and there's plenty of comedians around town. <laughs> Uh, Zach Dyer and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> all right, thank you so much uh, for coming in. We've oh got to wrap it up. Have we got another question? Oh, that's <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the next video, I reckon, don't you? <laughs> what is it, Rachel? Come on. Next video is uh, Byron <laughs> slash uh, Electric Lemonade. Let's just stick it on. We'll get back after. Thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you all tonight? Yeah. Smash it. Uh, Grand, I take it. <laughs> Come inside and watch Electric Lemonade. <laughs> Stronger man. She said. 
same boy But look at your friends, look at your fault They wanna see it again See mama, I was born to play the game I have no choice I listen to my voice If you play the game, it's lose or win I tell you before and I tell you again It started out and suddenly for me But then I fell and that did speak to me Money to us, self-fulfilling a prophecy Trust my friends yeah. It's a ruthless game Can't turn my back You never know my name Falls into a place Born from the crooks of cheeks And broken walls My intentions Just saw direction To an institute of correction yeah. Game, you gotta keep it sharp while you're out on the street So you'll end up getting shot or thrown away by police And the play can't afford that, I gotta keep a hold Flecking up the paper, or else I gotta go I got no time for some lazy ass snapper headed bitch Trying to beat me in my own game for someone else's It's P-I-M-P-I-N-G And this is the game that was built for me See, I own the streets and provide the corners With the classiest soap with a trick and a four I don't think twice about playing me Or I'll bring the cane and leave with your teeth Cause respect on the streets, the only rule in the game I'ma play it for life, remember the name They know, they know, they know So yeah, that was the player's ball and that's up. Uh, yeah, Down South Band, Electric Lemonade. That's off their um, 30 EP, I'm pretty sure. That's <laughs> and, very um, good. Yeah, and those guys have played a bunch of performances and festivals and they've been on TV on like proper commercial stations like Channel 7 on, and on The Project and kudos. Uh, yeah, and they just played at this... Um, have you heard of the Originals Music Festival in Noosa? Um, no. No. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, they uh, just played there the other day. 
All right, so what's going on next, Al? What's going on? Um, uh, well, should we put another video on? Because Al's in a really happy mood. Yeah, get a video <laughs> on now. <laughs> Hurry up. I haven't got all bloody all night. Right, and then when we get back... Um, Whinging bastards. <laughs> Let's just stick another video on. <laughs> this is Dogwood Crossing and they're going to be here. Is it tomorrow or Friday, Al? Well, they're not sure because we're not sure about when the floor's getting done. They were supposed to be here tomorrow night. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll have to talk to the management of Old Courthouse Theatre um, and get a professional answer from them. But I believe they're going to appear Friday night, not okay. Thursday. So please be told. It's All right, Friday so night. Head not to a website and check it out www.townsvillewoodson. That'll keep you updated on when Dogwood Crossing is playing. But let's check them out right now. Um, they've got a massive following across the Far East Coast. Let's watch Fight. This is a live one. <laughs> Summertime jungle Left behind the most again The sun rises through the window Stained with veins are red Lonely hearts and broken bikes Shuffle across the stage Another Sunday said and done Time to turn the page Society will fed our lives by political machine, preaching war with pain, blind with pain, periodically obscene. Years and tears of fighting, blood filters through the sand. Why do you turn your head? Why won't you pick a stab? Fight not for you, fight not for me, fight for your right to stand. Open up your eyes and be down the sea Fight not for you, fight not for me Fight for your right to set us free Fight for the fightless, push for the shove Open up your eyes and be down the sea
And joining us live on the porch is uh, Townsville's very own Fold, or half a Fold. Let's check it out. Oh, we got, we're on, are we? Beautiful. Kerry, you're right there, son. Okay. Live. You ready, mate? Oh, good. <laughs> Runs a gauntlet to make it by ten. Cup up full with shoppers and their money. Day has begun, crab cards ready, opening times. Here are the signs. Shoppers by soap, John and long lines. That's life. That's what I say. That's life. Paving the way. That life. Glorified insanity. That's life for me. Again, hoping for rain This hot weather is affecting my brain Hot sun breaks through Muggy and steamy It's getting hot Makes me feel dreamy That's life That's what I say That life Paving the way That life Glorified insanity That life for me Away, vitamins on, electrolytes for energy start to get moving. Get ready for the day, an interview to go to, bills to pay. That's life. That's what I say. That's life. Paving the way. That's life. Glorified insanity. That's life for me. Christmas will come and I will see it on my balcony. In the sky, will it affect me? Family will phone me as the day passes by. Been 12 months since I heard I sigh. That's what I say, that's life. Paving the way, that life. Glorified insanity, that's life. Is that rain out of my balcony? I go on the game. Yes, it's raining. Heads in the ground. Beautiful sight. Beautiful sound. That's life. That's what I see. That's life. Paving the way. That life. Glorified insanity. That's life for me. That's life. That's what I see. That's life, even the way that life glorified insanity. That's life for me. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. Do we have an applause? Actually, Al. I don't care. I don't half care. a fold. Oh, and that's right. That's I was thinking. That's why you're cracking the shits because you're a rock star now, Al, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. I'm a and prima I'm donna. Actually, I'm actually really fucking surprised. Good. <laughs> I actually really liked that, and I really liked that. Next. So this is Kerry, and this is Al. 
and together with two other people, they are false. You, steal you don't want to chat, you just want to play more. No, no, I'll chat. What do you want? Okay, well, I wanted to know first, what would you like, Rachel? I first would like to know, where did you come up with the name Fold? It means old. For doesn't mean anything. It's oh, just fold. Oh, really? No, no. Fold is like cutting edge. The meaning of cut, a fold is cutting edge. Uh, and that's what we are, cutting edge. Okay. And if Townsend don't start treating me better, I'm going to cut them edged. Why is it None of your business. Oh, okay. Why? Okay. So yeah. well, somebody wanted to know uh, why the apostrophe is. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, you know, it's just none of their but business. That's okay. And yeah. actually, what's the name of that song that you just? That's performed? called Life. Life. I yeah. really liked that. I actually imagined oh, you, you sitting on your veranda, yeah, that's writing right. those lyrics. Uh, yeah, I did. That's crazy, man. No, no, that's I what actually, you do. I actually did really like that. Did you know songwriters that? do that? They sit on their balcony and they write lyrics. Grr, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> out. Now my next song is going. You can't do these <laughs> vibes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we're okay. on the porch doesn't mean you act like you're at home. Okay. Sorry. Okay, we're good now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. so, um, no being a comedian. Jesus so, Christ, that'd be shocking. So how many songs do you have? Because you said to me on the phone the other day three that Three albums. You, you've got three albums that you were going to go on tour. Yes. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm just going to let you um, play another one. And, and hey, Kerry. <laughs> That's Kerry. He's the oh, drummer. Oh, we didn't even give you a mic. <laughs> yeah. A quick We're one. on the ball yeah. tonight. Jeez, All right, let's do a, another quick song. This is, this is a song of hope, my song of hope. And if you look out there in Townsville land, if you want to make some noise during it, please do if you believe in the words. If you don't, well, shut up then. I don't give a shit. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thinking, thinking. That was really nice, Al. You're actually such a poet, and it's so wow. It really made me think. I nearly cried. But um, yeah, I used to really cry when, right I, now. when I wrote this song. I used to choke up. I really? couldn't sing it. Yeah, yeah, that's really, so really nice. It. It's really meaningful. It. We need as Australians to, you know, get your head out of your ass and understand what's going on. Radio. Um, all right, moving along. We're going to move along. Thank you so much. The Facebook page, if you liked that, if you want to get to know our Facebook, Rockin' Al. Um, you. Thank and you we, so we much. We have some though. merchandise too. Yeah, yeah. We've got Time robes. Lawrence. We've got rings. Rings. We've got rings. And we've also got robes. Rings and robes. Okay, coming up $20 next. $20 and a, $5 each. It's a pop guy from, um, <laughs> this guy's from Cairns. He's pop. Nothing wrong with a bit of pop. Pop makes the world go wrong. So uh, round. This is uh, Chris Argy with um, Home. You're on space. Stole my heart, disappeared into the dark and dragged me under water. I learned from experience, came out feeling delirious, and suddenly hope was low. Is it best if I leave you? 
Okay, so that was Chris RG, and he seems like a sweetie according to his Facebook page. Yeah. Actually, he's not, he's he's not like sweetie. vacant. He sends like really nice messages like, yeah. you know, stop watching Home Away and care about the planet and stuff like that. Oh, now you you're talking. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So um, let's check out what's on because we kind of haven't even had a look. What's going on on the weekend in Townsville? Oh, the Commonwealth Hotel. They've got Blues Jam every Wednesday night. Yep, that's right. So that's on tonight right now. You can go check that out. If you're into blues. And here's a young girl. How do you say Michelle's surname? We don't Plaza. know. Plaza. It's Plaza. Michelle Plaza. Okay, and she's at Jupiter's Casino. Casino. Yeah, two weeks in a row, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Good girl. Oh, and there's Molly's Malone. So that's the thing I was after before. The pick, pick and, and shovel, shovel craft, craft bar. bar open daily from 4 p.m. Oh, over late. 30 craft yep. beers. Magnetic okay. Island Festival. Sorry, am I buttoning? No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. and that goes from Friday the 5th of September, Sunday the something or other. To, uh, and anyway, go to the yeah, 5th of October. Not quite sure. Fitness dancing and other events. Nice. <laughs> there's lots of them. Latin. There's, and where's um, that happening? Salsa. There's Gubba Oh, you have to go to what's all, you know, townsforwatson.com for that. Okay. And this is another one. There's always Angry something in the Herbert. That's being you tonight, Al. Mm, Angry Pot Plant. <laughs> and yeah. that's happening at the Hotel oh. Herbert. Yeah. And then the Blessed Outlaws on yes. the 20th. Yeah. And Tim and Griffin and Jared Jones. Oh, Jared Jones. She's cool. Yeah, and the uh, Anthem. T- now, oh, there's a couple Park of... music. Awesome. Yeah, there's a couple of big... Big oh, lots right, here, ballpark Chambers. music, and Casey Chambers are here. I actually bought her album today because I'm oh, going to that. Yeah, really? I'm going. I did cool. a voice ad for that, so I got a ticket. Yeah, um, she's a bit of an old stick from way back. I like her. Myself. Like, you made me cry. Old, Track two made me cry. I'm a bit of an older stick than her, but it doesn't matter. Keep up the good work. Let's move on there. Lawrence, good boy. Flynn's. Now, there's always something at Flynn's tonight. You can go down there and sing like I did tonight if you want to. To Colby on. Who else? So on Friday the 19th. Um, Get your head out of the way no, Friday the 19th. what's on dot com. The Jeffreys. Hit it up. <laughs> Saturday the 20th, Mother's Second Choice. Sunday the 21st, Hazy. And then there's more. Yeah. Tempest Perfume Gardens. That's this week. We're in the Perfume Gardens. Doesn't oh, matter. Yeah, hallelujah, Who cares? baby. Yeah. Nice. And uh, Dogwood Crossing, Thursday or Friday, depending on the carpet. Yep. And we yep. will hopefully be performing with the rest of the band, depending how I feel. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, Jason there's a lot on. We really cram this all into one segment, yeah. didn't we? Tommy's Tavern at the at Aiken Vale in Nathan Street. Uh, we've got Jason Clark. He's a good guy. And there he is looking for his band, a bit like myself. Um, Townsofwhatson.com, keeping you up to date. Yep. Something else that's on next weekend uh do you like metal i like a little bit of metal oh, of what course. about metal core well if you're metal core there is a metal core band um they're from brisbane they're called my friend the betrayer we're gonna get a tour poster up right now oh we're not um okay but they're <laughs> gonna be they're going to be there, there we go Yay. yeah they're on tour right now they kicked off tonight in brisbane and they're gonna be here uh next sunday and that's at the mansfield so if you're into metal core oh, uh, wow. check it out Good to see the Mansfield using that big room. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay that's about uh, moving it. Moving on. Oh, we're going to check these guys out. See if you like this metal core. And when we get back, we've got Ben from Sports Power to talk about sport and steroids. And right, we'll be yeah, back. Get a sense of humour, will you? <laughs>
were you watching before? Oh, and joining us live on the porch is Ben from Sports Power. So Say hi. Hang on, why is your name not, not Angus? Uh, it's my grandfather. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, jinx. Yeah. So he's been in the sports shop business? Yeah, yeah, I'm third generation. Uh, wow. 60 That's special. years. Yeah, yeah. 60 years. That's 60 years awesome, man. Yep. That's give, awesome. That was one of my, my questions ignorance. later, actually. Give my yep. ignorance on that one. And um, so oh. which store are you from? Well, you're like all from all the stores. No, just the one in town yeah. here. The okay. City. So yep. the city store, That's uh, we've been there, as I said, 60 years. Well, 50 years is the current location, 10 years the other one, but... Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Is there, that might help. Is there like a rivalry between oh, you sorry. and the Woolworth store? Oh, the Willow store? No, no, no. They're no? separately owned. They're, they're owned yeah. by some guy from Mount Isa. Okay. Yeah, we don't. So is there a bit of competition or no? Uh, no, 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 no. We help each other out. Now, this sorry. is what I'm aiming at. Can you help me with it? See oh, the slide there? Oh, yeah. Because we were talking about I'm steroids doing, yeah. before. Yeah. We were well, saying you were going to talk I'm about I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm aiming for. What do you think? Yeah, no. He's on steroids? Don't, yeah, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Oh, now that's no, what I'm aiming that's, that's, for. Yeah, How would I, I look think, like yeah, that? I You'd like me, way. but <laughs> well, I'm better that is way. Is she on you steroids? Be careful. That's a bit weird. That's, that's got to be steroids. Or oh, do you reckon she's on steroids? She's beautiful. Look at her. She's she's training or she's uh, on yeah, steroids. Yeah, she's good. She's, oh, on oh, oh, she's definitely no, on steroids. No, she's a lovely girl. Top bird. Top bird. Yep. Now tell me who she is. Uh, oh, you're doing Sally sports Pearson. questions. Oh, sports Sally questions. Pearson. Yeah, Lovely. well done. Nice. Now, so what are we? You got some questions, haven't you? Let's. Oh, uh, yeah. It. I just wanted to kind of know what your favourite sport is, Ben. Uh, I'm. Uh, I love my golf. You love golf. Say, I'm a golf tragic, but oh, really? uh, also tennis. Yep. Yeah. Oh, tennis. you know what? Next tennis, question right. was: yep. If God came down, so there's a God. He came down. He was like, okay, you need to be reincarnated into God either a, a tennis ball or be a golf ball. Which one uh, would you rather oh be? God. Oh, I'd rather be a glass I'd, of I'd wine. Go, I go. I go tennis ball. <laughs> tennis ball. Yeah, you usually find a tennis ball. You lose a lot of golf balls. You yeah, get very that's wet. really yeah. true. Yeah. Do you play near? Do you play near creeks and rivers and things? Yeah, usually in Ross River. Yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, very good. I love it, but Isn't not very it good. Isn't it funny the way you find the water it has it? Uh, it's in your mind, and yeah, you do every yeah, time. Yeah. What do you mean? What? Like well, well, you know, like the, when there's a water hole. Go on, you can explain. Yeah, it. When, when you've got like a dam or a river, mm-hmm. and you've got your tea up there, you try not to think about <laughs> it. <laughs> but The ball will go there. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're saying I'm going that way, uh, it goes okay. that way. I shouldn't like okay. Now, look at this. Look. Beautiful. <gasps> We've got the oh, JT, the yeah, man. Yeah, now he's just won uh, the Player's Choice Award, or yes. whatever they call it, so yes. he's a champion. Yep. Then, of course, you've got the real football AFL there on the side, yeah. and um, yeah, those ones there. The and yellow the, ones? And the yeah. other Sorry. ones are the Australian rugby team, I think. Yes. Is that right? The, yeah. There's the Wallabies. The Wallabies. The mighty Wallabies. The Wannabes, was it? Or the Wallabies. wallabies. And no, it was that right. netball, the other one. Sorry. And are these guys kind of people you sponsor? <laughs> like the Queen's sports power yes. sponsor? Like yeah. Community? yeah, yeah, yeah. We do a bit with uh, Northwood Old Boys Rugby, uh, mm-hmm. Townsville Tennis. Um, I really like club. Old Boys uh, Drinking Song. They've got an awesome, well, awesome right. drinking song. They go and then and congratulations to Reserve Grade One last week. Wow, oh, nice! Oh, oh, look at that. Geez, that's an oldie. Yeah. Right. is it? Uh, oh, it's you been look, it's six, seven years ago. But really? Um, geez, you haven't mm. aged much at all. <laughs> so because we're predominantly a music oh, no. show. <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence. What have you been doing Lawrence. there? I didn't Lawrence. get these together. I promise. Oh God my dead. God, what's happened there? Did you get a uh, shock? You, you did say you were looking at these photos. Yeah, but I didn't do that. No, I oh know he did, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence. he's a bad Dead. egg. He's yeah. a bad egg. Is that you? Yes. Unfortunately, yes, that was... Ah, it's uh, a nice shot, really. Yeah, I think Cowboys had just had a win. And oh, I kind of wanted to know, um, because it is a music know. show yep. predominantly, what kind of music is your favourite music? I, I grew up with U2. I was yep. a U2 tragic, yep. so that, but in excess, uh, Midnight Oil, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm 41 now, so mm. more than so 80s I. boy. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was You're looking well, huh? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And what kind of music do you play in the store? Uh, what do you, like, no, listen I, to the radio? I, or? No, no, we've got... Do we, we put iTunes on, and I've all my staff are under 21. No, 22, sorry. Okay. They put theirs on. Uh, as long as there's no swearing. Yep. So I, I swear know. with them. Unlike this show. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Well, see, I, I do this know. other show, and they tell me no swearing, but I see I always play swearing stuff. So yeah, yeah so do my staff. It's so really I'm gonna good. go. I'm gonna go on the store when you're not there. And yeah. go, like, <laughs> do you, do you know the words? TV. Um, you, you know, we come from a land down under. You know, the whole lot of it. You know, from one end to the other. No. Good. I must admit, I'm no good at that. Either do I. So that's <laughs> two of us. Rachel? No. And uh, I kind of... Yeah? 
I got, Sports I got results? A, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, is it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I know a couple. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. Okay. <laughs> uh, rugby union. Brothers took out the rugby union on the weekend with Good the Wood Eye boys getting reserve grade and Ingham picking up thirds. Cool. And then this weekend we got grand final for rugby league. Brothers in all three grades and uh, up against uh, Burdekin in A grade, Centrals in 19s and uh, Norths in reserve grade. What a so memory. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that good? Nice, and that's I why mean, you're here. We, we were informed exactly. you were here to talk about steroids, but... Uh, Ste- I know. It's, it's Lawrence, Lawrence. I know, uh, right. It's pathetic. It's just exactly. Yeah. Is this all you've got? Yeah. Okay. Is this it? Swimming. Swimming. Oh, yep. Um, Water's wet. Yes, um, it's wet. It's mm. cold, and I'm not very good at it. Tennis. Tennis. Mm. Tennis. Tennis. Yeah, night tennis fixtures just started. Killing it. Oh, Killing okay. it at the moment. Now, I'll, get, I'll have to get onto that mm. and put it on townsofwatson.com. It's good. Yeah, honestly, it's... Uh, they do a great job, run a great little comp down there for ladies, men's mixed. They actually contacted nights. me when they were getting together something. Anyway, mm. it doesn't matter. So, yep. okay, sport, so, um, it's all happened. Yep. There's results. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. You've run out of questions, Rachel? Uh, no, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. I would say one more and ask it. several, but... I don't yeah. believe I won't. that. You've run out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming in, Ben. No, thank uh, you for We'll having see me. you down at Sports Power. Maybe you can fit us with some shoes or something. Yeah, plenty and, shoes. Uh, plenty yeah, shoes. Um, we might head to the last video of the night. We might say goodnight. So, thank you so much again. And these guys are... They're the Atlas and they're from Brizzy. Atlas, and if yeah. um, they're good. If you look them up on Triple J on Earth, they say, quote, we're aggressive pop music formed as Atlas in early mm. May 2014, but have been playing together in a different carnation since 2011. Three-fifths of the band are brothers, which creates the best kind of tension. And uh, they have two of the states, one with dolphins and ridden bareback on the wings of an eagle. So this is the Ooh. Atlas with wow. City. Thank you so much for streaming in. Coming up next is Zach and Alfie for... Smart asses. <laughs> Phil <Lawrence>. in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, <one>. Phil in. <laughs> <laughs>
and welcome to Smart Arts for another fortnight. Welcome. We've been replaced. We we don't have Jade tonight. No, we do no, not. We, we have, have me. Yes, and, and you are Leah. Leah. Leah's our wonderful fill-in. We found her, and she's more than willing to come in and just replace Jade for a while. So, Jade, you may not have a job in a fortnight, but whatever you're doing, best of luck. It we depends how good I am, I guess. Exactly. If not, we get the ceremonial, Leah gets to kill you. <laughs> Yep. I'm not even joking about that, but there you go. <laughs> so what have you been up to, Leah? Um, I mainly just do uni, to be honest. Just do uni? Yeah, Live what are you studying? uni life. What am I doing? Hmm. Oh, I'm doing a Bachelor of New Media Design. Fantastic. How far along are you? Oh, I'm only first semester. First semester? I just keep changing subjects, keep changing <laughs> courses. Yeah. You'll do that about a thousand times so you realise you're fucking making, got a massive hex debt. And yeah, then, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> oh. Takes you back to my uni days. As for me, I've been doing a lot of rehearsals lately. I've finally recovered from a broken kneecap, so no longer will have a mm. knee brace thing, which is awesome. How'd you do that? I was on stilts and got pulled down by a drunk, landed oh, on no. the cement. <laughs> And Stay away from those drunks. Yeah, unless I'm one of them myself, then it's... Well, yeah, or the stilts, stilts too. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> It'll be easier to stay away from stilts than yeah. drunks. Well, they call to me. Especially around time. here. <laughs> good point. But yeah, um, so it's been a busy week. We've had um, a Stedford at the Civic Theatre. My little sister performing there. So I went to go and see that quite a lot. And amazing music. Just like tonight. Awesome. Yeah, see what There's I did there? There's going to be lots of music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so first up, we do have... Well, this strange man will be coming on again soon. And Bob, yes. We have Corinda Christie. We do. Coming up first. And she's from Raven's Home. This is their new music video. So we're going to check that out first.
That was a very pink music video. Nathan? Yeah, it was good. I it liked was. it. Yeah, I liked it. It was great. Like stilts. It. I'm pretty sure there were stilts in there. There were stilts. My arch enemies return. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Following you around. <laughs> well, we do have a new segment. We have Bob's Obs. And Bob's coincidentally, here's a man named Bob. Hey. Yes, he is. Hey. hey. Talking so. about politics. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and he's got an audience tonight. He's got fans. Ah. Actually, has fans. Hear that? Ah. Yeah, that's amazing. No, I'm bloody angry. <laughs> You're angry? You, I'm not happy. What do you, aren't you happy about? Uh, about bloody swinging voters. Ah. Swinging uh. voters. These bloody dill... Sorry, can't call them dillbreeze. Ding bangers, <laughs> ding bangers, dillbreeze. They... What would they expect? Zach, I won't ask you who you voted for because you're not allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you probably didn't vote for the same people you voted for last time because you weren't 18 last time. That's right. <laughs> Me. Oh, you're looking at me now. You no. were 18 last time either, were you? No, I was. No. Yes. You were? Yeah. You were? You're more than 18 plus three now? Yeah. No. no. No, I wasn't. I lied. Uh, I wasn't. Tell you what. Closer to your mic. Keep Closer talking. Closer to the mic. I tell you what. These people don't qualify, but you, you, you bloody Dilbrees, if you wanted to go on bloody march against Tony Abbott, why did you vote for him in the first bloody place? You should have marched down there in September last year when you had the bloody opportunity. But never mind, the age of entitlement's over. <laughs> oh, good. Me mean anything? No. No, I have no idea Zach, about politics. Anything? It's really bad. No, nothing. It's all right. It's all right. I'll carry it on. Joe Hockey. Who drove down here tonight? Did you drive down no, here? I didn't drive oh, here. This is poor statement. people that don't drive. They don't <laughs> Joe apparently. was right. I'm stupid. I'm Joe broke. was right. Bloody hell. You don't. I'm a student. I'm broke. I can't even. Oh, no, my petrol car. excise. Petrol. Uh, uh, I'm poor as dirt. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm screwed. Bloody hell. To um, be fair, I'm also blind. Who was That's that? Mel Meninga. I'm, I'm worse than Mel Meninga. Sorry? I drove. You drove? I hope you didn't pay any bloody petrol excise. <laughs> I did. You did. What did you expect, Lawrence? What did you expect? <laughs> oh, free fuel for all. I tell you what. <laughs> hey? Tell us. Yeah. Tell, tell us. us. <laughs> Gordon? Are you Who's going to fight in Iraq? Not me. No, I guess I'm, I'm <laughs> just going to walk away from that. I won't even try. But I tell you what, look, Joe, the poor people. I'm a poor person, Joe. I really am. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't really want to hold you and your mates up. Pup, pup. Sorry, Andy. I'm talking about your boss here. But, and he's not even here. Look, for those of you who did vote for pup. Puppies. The puppies. <laughs> Very nice. I like that. I have a fan. The puppies. Sorry. I have no idea if what you're talking about. Don't puppies. you? Puppies, what do you mean by puppies? Oh, you can say something else. The, they're the people that voted for Pup. Do you know who Pup is? I don't. The Palmer United Party. Ah, uh, okay. I still don't know. He's all is. right. He's all right. Clive's okay. Clive's okay. He, for a billionaire. For a billionaire? He used to be a member of the Liberal Party until it was better to be a member of his own party. Isn't it always good to be better a member of your own party? Don't we all just want to have our own parties? <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather go to somebody else's party. Fair then you enough. don't have to clean up. That's true. <laughs> no cleaning up. Five's going to have to clean up his own mess. <laughs> Got to buy paper plates. Uh, I think he has. I think he has. He's... And the little puppy messes all over the floor everywhere. That's right. <laughs> There'll be plenty of them. All right, so that was awesome. You know Actually, your politics. Hey, you know no. What's going on. 
No. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, I do. You do. You do. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. They'll come looking for me. (laughs) Well, speaking of B for Bob, we're going to go and listen to some Barry Morgan. Barry Morgan, who's playing Saturday and Sunday night. Don't forget, right here at the courthouse. Right here. Oh, fair thing. It's going to be fantastic. Right here. Well, not right here because we're outside. Inside. I don't know. I like being outside. We've got a nice little audience of people behind us. That's true. (laughs) Barry's behind us on Saturday night. I'm not answering that question, but there you go. (laughs) (laughs) Well, anyway, this is Barry. Barry's on.
next song is called Jade Song. It's written for Ray's boy.
money in the game. That's your bloody the game. And we are back, and I didn't die, so I did defy death. It's always a good thing to do that. Number four now. There you go. So, here with us now, on the veranda, we have Drawing Circle. Now, you guys are playing Friday night here, and you're supporting Crossroads. And it's going to be a great night, I'm thinking. So, who do we have on the mic? Who's talking? Jake. Jake. How you going, Jake? Good, man. Good, yeah? Good. yeah. I'm kind of pale myself, but yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> so, Jake, Drawing Circle. What's with, how would you come up with the name? Oh, it was a bit of a bit of a process. We all just kind of came together, and and I think it was Rick who ended up coming up with the. It was actually me. Yeah. Joel. I like. Shows how I much like I know. Circles and I like drawing. So. <laughs> drawing yeah, circles. that's Why not? <laughs> so you guys have a sort of a mixed vibe when you play, yeah. So who are your inspirations? Like, is there anyone in particular that stands out for each of you? I love the Deftones. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Big Deftones fan. Me personally, I'm a bit of a Carnival fan and some Tool and Dead Letter Circus, definitely. Nice. Yeah, and I'm pretty much the same as Jake. Add a bit of butterfly effect in there, and that's sweet. Good Fantastic. mixture of all of them. Deftones, Tool. Hey. <laughs> Carnival. <laughs> Great. Nice little collection there. So, our last man's very, very silent there. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he has a microphone now. Now there's no excuse. <laughs> so, you guys are playing for us tonight? Yeah? yeah. Yep. Fantastic. So, just a taste of what's to come on Friday night. So, we leave it to you.
Fantastic. Just a taste of what to look forward to on Friday night, huh? Exactly. Now, we also had some photos of your other performances, so things at the venue and other places you've been, right? So, I guess, you know, what's next? You guys got an EP coming or any albums released? Or? Oh, we got to start recording. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. All originals or covers? or All originals. All originals, All originals. even yeah. better. Fantastic. <laughs> See? Even got drunk guys applauding you. It's great. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for coming in. It's fantastic hearing you guys perform. Thanks for and having we us. We look forward to seeing you on Friday night. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, we've got Jacob Long go coming on. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. to love someone the way that I love you It hurts to love someone when you don't know if they love you too It hurts to love someone when you think about them every day And there's a chance that they may never feel the same And I'm alright, I'm okay I'll live to fight another day I'll keep on smiling when things don't go my way And I'll tell the world I'm alright Even when my scars are shining through And I will smile Even though I can't imagine life without you Heart on my sleeve Now I find it hard to believe That I could fall for someone This easily And it's nothing, nothing you've done. done Haven't made a deal with, with someone, someone But I've fallen So helplessly Been going crazy When I think of your smile all this confusion is driving me wild And I'll tell the world I'm alright Even when my scars are shining through 
And I will smile Even though I can't imagine life without you Nobody's at home As you wipe the tears off your face Pretend to smile and you say you're alright If I was to look inside Would I find you crying? Tell me how you feel I would if you would listen Show me how to make this My arms are open wide, come let me dry your eyes, I'll be waiting for you, I'll tell the world I'm alright, even when my scars are shining through, and I will smile, even though can't imagine life without you. And welcome back. We're here with our old friend Marion. Hello. Hey, how are you, Marion? I'm back again. I'm back fine. again, yay! Yeah, I'm not so old. <laughs> yeah. Call her old. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of Jade's new yeah, yeah, replacement? New outlook, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And star. yeah. <laughs> yes, she is. Doing a great well, job. The show goes on without Jade. That's yes, right. It does. Yeah. Watch out, Jade. Warning, Jade. Mm. She's lost her slot. <laughs> Okay, books. Books. So. We're going to talk about books today, and I just brought along some um, bird books because I books. actually love birds, and I'm not too sure if anyone else does. So that's a selection of the different guides that we sell at Mary Who. Fantastic. And they've all got good, good things to to have, and I own three different guides because I have to be able to see the different birds. Yeah. Fair so. enough. Yeah. And and we also sell things like uh, guides on frogs and cockroaches, and you know, so Ooh, it's, <laughs> it's a really interesting. Um, genre of books. <laughs> if you want to know about anything, you can um, get books on most things. Definitely. And are they all Australia-based? or They're all yeah. Australian books, yeah. So they're the, they're the field guides. So they've got different uh, things happening about them, why you'd get one over the other. But then we've also got books that are um, on places to go to seabirds. Oh. So there's one where it includes like the Town Common and Gelatin and places around here. And then there's a bird journal and... Yeah, so I think Australia's um, one that got quite a, a number of, um, you know, one of the biggest number of total type birds out of every continent. Yeah. yeah. Do you wow. have a favourite bird? Um, probably the bower bird, the great bower bird, because of all his... Have you ever seen a bower? Um, I wouldn't know. No, Maybe. so <laughs> all through Railway Estate, South Townsville, Hermit Park, there's bower birds, bowers, and he builds this lovely little bower to attract his girlfriends in to have his wicked way with her. But he has all this collection of lovely stuff that he distributes and places really nicely around his bower. <laughs> oh, I, wish, so I wish my boyfriend if any, did that. Uh, <laughs> I know, that's right, and has it all out there for you. So, Okay, and now we're on to, on the weekend, Lawrence is pushing us, on the weekend I went over to Magnetic Island and we... Um, Put, remember we were talking about bombing a fence? Yeah. But basically oh, we put yeah. art. We put art on the fence. So these are some oh, of wow. the bombing it. So these are some of the things that we put on this really ugly fence that surrounds a really ugly um, hole in the ground. Um, outside, um, just at Nellie Bay Harbour, where oh, you yeah. get off yep. the boat. Well, so the a pretty was, fence. Yeah, that's right. I these, love those leaves. Yeah, these were taken at night time. We went over to um, to see the choir and uh, this guy on the bike was pretty amazing. So um, the night, it's much nicer at night time. Well, there's a daytime shot, but you see all the surrounds as well. So that's what the fence looks like during the day. So 
Yeah. Oh, looks good. Yeah, and there's a group of us, and we had two. Most, mostly we're from Fibres and Fabrics and we had two German girls come and stay and they wove that turtle oh, and wow. it's disappeared. Someone's pinched the turtle. Oh, no. I know. You'd think that the know, thing, that's things would be sacred, wouldn't you? Ah. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't that just annoy you when you put so much work into something and you and see the fruits of all and it just... It. Like yep. that. Anyway, just we, gone. we had a lot of fun doing the fence. That's the and, and yeah. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, and hopefully <laughs> people will keep on adding to it. That's the idea, that yeah. people who ever turn up can keep on adding to it. Yeah, yep. definitely. Okay. It's always a good idea. Yeah. Well. That's it. That's it. Yep. Fantastic. Yep, nice and short and sweet. <laughs> nice and short and sweet. That's right. And we'll Fantastic. see you all next in fortnight's time. What's that? What is it? Well, the... Something's from Melbourne next time. (laughs) Priestess and Dash, Eagle and Horse, and they're from Melbourne. And they played at Folk Club last week. So there you go. So that's what's coming up next. Thank you for that. Thank you, Marion. Bye. See you you in a fortnight. Look forward to it. Fantastic. What did you think? It was. Here comes Boris. And we have an interview with Boris, who just jumped on stage by bike. How are you, Boris? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. That's well, that right. was pretty scary. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so tell Always us about your trials. Sure. Well, trials is a sport where you negotiate different obstacles on the bike. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got the time limit on each section, and basically, um, person with less penalty points wins. You score penalty points by 
either crushing or just even putting your foot down or going over the time limit. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty intense. Some mm. extreme sports going on. <laughs> it's good fun. It's really good fun. I and, um, and how did Adrenaline. you get into it? Uh, I used to be a mountain biker, and back in the day I saw a person back home in Poland mm -hmm. who was doing trials, and um, I thought I would give it a go. And after I broke my mountain bike, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> just kind of bike. Yeah, all just kind of came together, I guess. <laughs> That's it, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's great fun, and um, I think anybody can do it just about anywhere, whether you want to do it indoor, outdoor. You can do it middle of the day, at night, when it's raining. So um, great activity, and I think really good fun and something, you know, to Does it require do. special training or just fitness? And uh, look, it helps if you want to be competitive or get to a fairly decent level, mm -hmm. but um, you can basically just spend, you know, half an hour, a day, twice a week, just to have a bit of a fun. And if you want to compete and take it a bit more serious, a bit of a resistant training helps just to protect your body from injuries and yeah, yeah, yeah. get a bit more strength. Yeah. So, do you teach people as well, or just get pretty much get on a bike and learn? Or oh, look, I um, I've got few friends over here that are keen to sort of give it a go, so I try to help them out. But um, no, not proper classes just yet. But that's something um, yeah, that might happen in the future. You never Fantastic. know. Awesome. Yeah. Have to awesome. give that a try, Hilia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. That's a bit scary. Maybe with me. different shoes. Um, yeah, that, that's, that could help a bit. Okay. Well, we are going to see what he's all about soon after mm. we go past Josh, Rennie Josh Hines. Rennie's Hines, who is introducing for Casey Chambers. Oh, fantastic. So cool. You can watch this now. Awesome. Play that.
I thought that you were a dream One that I've never seen I thought that you were a dream That you were a dream And that was Josh Rennie Hines, which was fantastic. And now we're going to go to Boris. Um, Boris has won two national title elite categories and a national cup elite category. And he's going to be doing some stunts for us. And then after, at the end, he's going to be jumping over somebody, jumping over a person. <laughs> Maybe <scary>. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to them. It's so good. I have to be on my mind. So I thought you just kind of came down and got with me to this. I did. This yeah. I've never even been to this before. Oh, wow. And I was just here. And, the, and Lawrence was like, oh, our host has dropped out. Can you host? And I was like, oh, good. So are you enjoying yourself? It's pretty chilled out. Yeah. I was a bit worried about what I was going to talk about. They just said, talk about any, like, okay. It's a broad topic. Alright, see you someone jumping somebody. It's another day, you see that. Oh, 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 oh,
Big thanks to Boris there. That was yeah, just, that you was know. crazy. <laughs> and good, we didn't actually have to make any insurance claims tonight. That's, yeah, that's I was always a bit worried. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, no, hopefully nothing goes wrong. Big thanks to our brave volunteer as well. You were fantastic. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Applause for her. She's still living. Good yeah. on you, Monica. <laughs> now we have Aaron Ashley here. Hey. Pleasure Hello to have guys. you on here, Aaron. Good, uh, good to be back. <laughs> I've been here many, many, many times, hey? Always a veteran, huh? It's always good. <laughs> so what are you here for tonight? Uh, well, we've got um, Lux Lumen coming up, mm -hmm. which is a uh, projections exhibition around the city. In fact, this guy right here should probably be up talking about it. Instead, he's off behind a camera. Um, <laughs> Leor, he's one of the uh, one of the projection artists as well. They've got um, several different spots around the city. I think there's about nine total. Um, and each one around the CBD is basically going to be lit up with different projections from local and um, international artists as well. Fantastic. So, I think I read yeah. about that, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it's, um, there was uh, an article on the paper recently with um, Rao Posse, who's uh, also a photography lecturer at JCU. So. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm doing that at JCU. So oh, there, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> well. So when is it on, Ash Aaron? Uh, well, we got I didn't to call you Ashley. That would have been bad, wouldn't no, it? No, it happens all the time. <laughs> well, it's actually uh, it's uh, 26th of um, September. This is actually really useful down here. 26th to 27th of September, and it's uh, from 7 to 10 p.m. And um, I think there's going to be uh, some tours going about as well, and there's also, I think, an artist talk at Purse Tucker, which is connected to it as well. Um, there's an image coming up at the moment, which is uh, from uh, an international artist who's going to be doing that kind of light projection on a tree too. Wow. So, yep. Another projection mass, and that's um, I was talking about. Ralph Posse had the the article in the paper recently. That's an image from um, his projection as well, and uh, that's what you can expect to see coming from a couple of people I'm working with, who are going to be over at uh, Federation Place have um, three channel projection going. So it should be there should be a lot of uh, cool experimental stuff going on. There's uh, a lot of good spaces that are being projected onto front of the courthouse, for instance, yeah. <laughs> and uh, down near the um, it's a cold now Townsville Boston Square. Oh, yeah, Back yeah. at the brewery, um, just a lot of different spots around the CBD. Should be really awesome. good. Sounds mm. good. So, what's your place in all this? What's your job? Um, one of the one of the artists. So, oh, cool. Yeah. cool. Um, so we've got a piece going in, which will basically be about um, nature getting disrupted and whatnot. Um, so you can expect to see some pretty trippy visuals out of that. Awesome. Yep. Something to look forward to. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's plenty to look forward to in that exhibition. So you said mm. there's also two is going around. Is that? Uh, I believe so. Uh, actually, would have to, uh, so yeah, there's Leora is nodding as well. Um, <laughs> and, and shrugging. <laughs> Same kind of thing. Uh, I think you'll have to probably check online for, for more details about that. Um, there is a event for Lux Lumen on Facebook, mm -hmm. and that's being updated all the time with new information about um, which artists are participating. Um, what uh, artworks are going up and also what times and everything the tours and all that kind of thing are happening. Fantastic. I have to go and check that one out. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll all have to. <laughs> yeah. be amazing. Well, thanks for your time tonight, Aaron. It's yeah, always great having you, you on here. It was good. And we have a video from Barry Morgan. Yes. Yeah. We've changed? Oh, we've changed. Apparently there's one uh, from Eric's oh, video. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think I know the Yeah, oh, sweet. Yeah. Well, cancel that. We have something we have from Aaron. <laughs> Eric. 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 Yeah, Eric Andrew. He's another Dragon. one of the artists. Right. Yep. Right. I'll Dragon. I'll get on here one day and actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> it, it's there's not too many people with a first name and a last name start with A. You just got unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> So. Well, yeah, um. see you guys later. It was a good night. See you in two weeks. See you in two weeks. Big thank you to you, Leah. Thanks. Thanks, Great Leah. Having you on here. To all our guests oh, and everyone, to Lawrence, <laughs> always doing a great job. Yep, thanks a lot. And we'll see you in two weeks. We'll see Jade you better be back, weeks. otherwise Leah gets the job. Yep. <laughs>